In this lesson we're going to look at a little lick that I use quite a lot um, which basically comes from a classic drum groove, uh, the groove from the meters sissy strut. Um, it's the middle part of it, the little triplet part in the middle, um, which works really, really well. And it also helps us to keep momentum in our fills. Uh, by momentum, what I mean is that too many people play a groove, get a groove locked in, get it solid, get everybody moving, get everybody dancing, and then play some crazy fill that goes all around the kit, lose the momentum, and then we have to start all over again. Um, using the exercises like this, using fills like this, really keeps the momentum because it, it lets us keep the backbeat in the fill. Um, so I'll demonstrate this very slowly for you first and then we'll build it up and I'll show you what we can do with it from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate the actual groove that this exercise comes from and that's the groove, as I said, from Sissy Strut by The Meters. It's a track really that every drummer should know the groove to. Okay, so now you've seen the basic groove, uh, I'm going to pull a little bit of that groove out and show you this exercise that we're going to work with. Um, the basics of the exercise, here's the sticking pattern, which is right, left, foot, left, right, foot, left. That's right, left, foot, left, right, foot, left. Now we've got to try and make sure that this swings a little bit. Um, it won't work if it's really straight, but as we demonstrate this, um, we'll see what, what's meant by that. Um, first thing I'm going to do it on the snare, between the snare and the bass drum, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the hi-hat in and put the hands on the hi-hat and bring the back beat back onto the snare so you can see that we can use that. Okay, so once you've got that comfortable, you've got it swinging a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to add that into a groove. So we're going to play two counts of eighth note groove. One, two, and then we're going to put this in as a little lick. So it's going to go one, two, uh, uh, da, da, da. one and two. Da, 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 da. So you can see where that goes. I'll demonstrate that for you now. Once you've got that flowing, once you've got that in place with the groove, then you can start to move it around. I started to move it around just a little bit there, just between Tom 1 and Tom 2, leaving the left hand on the hi-hat, bringing the snare drum back on 2 and 4. The sticking pattern never changed, the sticking pattern stayed the same all the time. So what I'll do now is I'll demonstrate to you uh, what's possible with this. Uh, as I say, I use this all the time, um, and the sticking pattern won't change at all. Uh, I will keep that going straight and strict through, um, so you can see what you can do with it.
Okay, so that's the whole exercise. You've seen it broken down, you understand where it comes from, um, and you've seen what you can do with it in the end. Just play with it, mess about with it, try and keep the sticking pattern strict, put it on count one, make it into a full bar, put it on count three, make it into a two count fill, keep the back beat in there. I'm sure you're gonna have lots of fun with it, it's a great exercise. Uh, any questions as normal, let me know. And that's it for now.